Which way am I looking? Uh, or wherever, whatever, wherever the question is, okay. Yeah. I'll get Sean. Uh, yes. If you want to just start with the overall thoughts on the match. Look, uh, I, I, I thought we came out with good energy. Uh, they got a goal, you know, again, another shot from 30 yards out that hits the inside of the post that goes in. We could be better defensively there, no doubt about it. But, you know, um, and then the second goal, we, we get caught, you know, trying to step into midfield and they play over the top and they get their goal, the, the second goal. I felt the second half, we completely owned it. Uh, even in the first half, we had some chances. But when you see the chances and then the shot count, you have 16 shots to their seven. And they scored two goals and we have none. So that's, that's the difference, really. You know, we, I thought the second half was really good in terms of possessing the ball, pushing the game, trying to create opportunities. And we did create the opportunities. We just couldn't put them away. What are you hoping to accomplish with the last, I think, five games left? Uh, are you still evaluating for next year as well? Oh, of course, it's you know this. This is now you know obviously be, having been out of the playoffs. It's all about evaluating players. It's about getting minutes to guys who haven't played a lot you know, during the season. But at the same time, we want to win every game we step into. Um, you know, tonight I, I felt like we had a good opportunity to press these guys, and you saw in the second half when we pressed them, they had a hard time with our press. But you know, when you create opportunities, you got to put them away. They had two chances in the first half. They they scored two goals. I mean, the, if you even count that first goal as a chance, because the guy takes a shot from 30 yards out. We need to close it down better. We need to defend better, of course. But we also have opportunities, and we got to put them away. We didn't, and and that's the result. Um, there was clear frustration with the calls that were made today. Yeah. Um, yellow card from the bench. Um, yeah. Any comments on those calls and how that affected the? Uh, uh, I, I really don't want to comment on 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 you know the referee and you know they make mistakes, like we make mistakes. Players make mistakes. They make mistakes. Of course, on the sideline, I'm I'm trying I'm trying to get a W, right? So frustration sets in at times, and I might you know say something. I didn't say anything derogatory. I just asked for for a call, and and uh, he felt like. You know, the goal was taken away from us, and that's when I got the yellow card. So the the reason I uh, I got the yellow card is because I left the technical area. So my bad. I should have I should have thought about that. But you know, I felt like that that was a legitimate goal, and it should have counted. Um, following up, as you mentioned, you guys outshot um, by by a bit to Tampa. Yeah. Um, any ways to improve that to convert it to a goal it was yeah, something that's been seen earlier in the past games that you guys just shoot shoot but just doesn't find its way yeah we keep doing the same thing look we it's not like we don't train on finishing we train on finishing almost on a daily basis uh it's just players being able to execute under pressure and that's that's one thing we've been lacking all season. Whether it's players in the back under pressure executing and trying to get out of the back, players in the midfield executing and stringing passes together and not playing balls out of bounds without any pressure. And then on top, you know, taking the right touch and finishing. Unfortunately tonight there was, I can remember in the, in the, in the second half, there's three or four clear opportunities where, you know, we hit the goalkeeper in the chest, we get a one on one v one. We don't take a good touch, so now we got to go across, and now they're coming to the block it. Uh, we had our opportunities again, uh, and we keep training on it. And, and to, to answer your question is, we just got to keep practicing and get better. And look, at some point we got to we got to figure out. Okay, maybe maybe we need other other guys to come in and help us out. And we're in the process of doing that and identifying players who can help us out. Yeah. How'd you feel Dren did tonight off the bench? He seemed to be pretty bright. Yeah, he, he was good. Dren is a good soccer player. And, you know, when when he has the ball at his feet, his brain works pretty quickly. So he can find solutions. And he did that. We, you know, he, pressure comes, he figures the solution, and he plays and he moves. I like to see him get forward a little bit more, be more aggressive in getting forward because he has a very good cross. So I thought he did pretty good. And uh, he's going to get more playing time here in the last four games. And hopefully, you know, we've, we've got a player for ourselves. You know, he's a young kid, 18 years old, I think. And, and uh, you know, he's got a lot of quality. Thanks, Amin. Yep. Thanks, Amin. Yep. I can take that mic off, yeah. Yeah, I appreciate it.